Building a Difference presents The Goodall Family Story Kenny and Karen Goodall The first time he saw her he said he knew that this was a girl for him I mean he just kind of like fell in my lap you know I mean there it was Kenny and Karen had planned on having 10 children Can you say daddy? Say daddy? Kenny loved to play with the kids Tell Karen how much fun it is on his first Easter Say hi Caleb We'll give your little brother a kiss. Kenny and Karen had gotten the news that Karen was pregnant with number five. I figured at that time, four children never would stop. <laughs> you got to think we're nuts. Huh? Something in the water out there, I think. Kenny, when he was in high school, he worked part-time for a builder. Kenny drew up plans. He had a dream house. I like to wear this is hard. He had plans for a house that he wanted for his family. I want to get something, even if it costs a little more, I want something that's going to last. Kenny's mother wanted to help, so she offered to them to come stay back in the Goodall family home so they could save the money needed to build their dream home. Although it was a temporary situation, he was going to be in the house that he grew up in as a little boy. And now he gets to share this house with his kids. But then everyone started noticing some changes with Kenny. He got to a point where it was difficult for him to hold a hammer into his hand and be able to, to hammer with it. It was finally discovered that Kenny had ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. ALS is a disease that slowly paralyzes a person's body until it eventually takes their life. We had a 20 minute conversation just about what is Lou Gehrig's, what's going to happen? Is there any cure for it? And he said, I'm not going to get better. He started crying, telling me about not being able to watch his kids grow up. We told Colin and Kaylee, and they bawled. I was trying to tell them, you know, this could be a blessing. Yeah, we may not have daddy around long, but if this disease that your daddy has just touches one person for the Lord, it's worth it, even just one person. While he was losing muscle strength in his arms and his legs, he was also starting to experience some involvement with his speech. Mm. His speech was becoming impaired. Hey, brother. And they got news. Karen was pregnant with number six. Lord, how in the world am I going to be able to handle a baby and five kids with this disease? Kenny, <laughs> right before the babies do. I think the most excited person out of them all was Kaylee. She's going to get a little sister, not another little brother. I said, God never makes any mistakes where children are concerned. And somehow this baby's going to be a special blessing. There's no doubt about it. She was a huge bundle of joy that came to their mind. You saw a lot of tears, but these were tears of joy. Having this baby, having this blessing, this miracle. The kids have always prayed for their daddy. We try to keep everything as, as normal as possible. I tell. I'm telling. You don't have to tell. You're getting it all on camera and for the world to see. Everybody gets to see. Yay! It's just, you know, we have this also that we have to deal with. All right, everybody say Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas!